As it stands, all 16 and 17-year-olds are allowed one dose, and anyone aged 12 to 15 can receive the vaccine if they're clinically vulnerable or they live with someone who is. So, Martin, what do you think? Should all teenagers get the jab, do you think? No, I mean, this, I think, is a hill that many parents will be prepared to die on. Um, I think step doing the jab to kids is a step too far. Um, particularly when we look at the evidence since the beginning of the pandemic in the UK, only 10 under 18s have died of COVID and every single one of them had a serious underlying health condition. So, so the threat to children mm. isn't really there. Um, then there's a question of, is it even safe to do so? We simply don't know the long term side effects of any of these vaccines. They haven't been tested for long enough mm. on children. In fact, the AstraZeneca jab, when it was given to children recently in a test, the test was stopped because of blood clots and, and adverse reactions. And more than that, I think our duty is to protect children. This is being given to children to protect adults for herd immunity. But That's the wrong way around. You've got children, right? How old are I you? have. I've got a boy who's 12 and a girl who's seven. So my boy is falling into this category now. And I'm saying this, not, of my, not on my dead body. What if he said, I do want it, Dad? I don't think he would. And I think, I think actually, when, when you look at the types of kids that were being vaccinated, and there was an interview with some of them from Cardiff this week, it's actually parent pressure, I think, that's, that's causing a lot of this. It's kind of parents who, who, are, who, are, who have been brainwashed by the media for the, this past two years. Brainwashed? That's a yeah. strong, that's a strong no, word. Let me ask you, Nicola, would you, you've got children. Uh, how old are your kids? Uh, so Rocky's 15 and Stryker's 11, and they definitely, I 100% agree with everything mm. you say, they won't mm. be getting it. And when you say brainwash, actually, that's what the government are trying to do by getting getting children to take the vaccine by like offering like a takeaway. Well, it's yeah. more teen. That's more teenagers. Well, yeah, yeah, teenagers, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like it well, you know, you've gone crazy about child obesity, but now you're offering them um, a takeaway to get a vaccine. Yeah. It's just all coercive, and it's just. So, if your kids came to you and said, "Mum, I don't care what you think. I, I want the vaccine." Well, a bit like Martin, I know for a fact that Rocky definitely won't. I think it's more adults that are terrified of COVID. You know, I, my mum was terrified of COVID. Mm. So would I then have maybe as a child? Probably yeah. not. Because did I your mum get vaccinated? Um, my mum's vaccinated, yeah. yeah. And you are? I'm vaccinated, but I did it for freedom, and I actually feel really cross with myself. I've done mm. it for freedom, and we didn't get the freedom that we were kind of promised, but well, my kids won't be getting it. We were kind of promised, but well, my kids won't be getting it.